I think it's absolutely crucial to address two prongs. The first is that we need to analyse and look at the incentives that are already in place for unsustainable chemical agriculture, for example, and to dismantle them. We need to ensure that there's policy coherence across the board. Uh, when you do that, then you can then look also at policies that uh, support agroecological production, support smallholder farmers, then the knowledge that they have and their institutions and organisations. For example, in terms of supporting farmer-to-farmer -farmer, uh, knowledge sharing networks, um, that would be important. Um, I think it's also absolutely crucial uh, at the level of uh, governments and with uh, donor countries especially to really uh, put resource allocation and investments towards agroecology and smallholder farmers and the knowledge and the um, networks that they have. Uh, secondly, I also think it's, it's very important uh, and I think FAO has the capacity to be able to provide technical support and guidance for countries that are wanting to implement agroecology or to implement a transition to agroecology. Uh, so that kind of technical work uh, needs to be done to help countries to be able to transition towards agroecology.